Hello, welcome back to Sea Wolf's Den. I'm Crafting Ron, and we have another unboxing. This time it's two fairly large boxes from eBay. I'm gonna go over some new stuff I bought and maybe look at some ideas on what I'm gonna use them for. So here they are. There's another one coming tomorrow. It's just a little bit of minor stuff. I may add that on as extra footage, but for this one, it's, this one's it's got some small stuff in it. I ate, and one of them is, a mini rig but holy cow never knew how big those are never knew how big these were because i never got one and as you can tell these are star wars toys these are all star wars toys that i'm going to do something with i'll just about see what it is now so there it is got a fairly cheap cloud city pod man still got the landing gear and everything this may be a little bigger than I'd planned for 28 or 35 millimeter. All right, so that's one thing. A couple other things in this box. There's that. And I've done one. I've done two of these in the mini rig world. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's looks like an ATST head, but it's actually got wings. You know, I've I've got two of these already converted. Missing the canopy. Missing the gun. Missing the wings. I really like the idea because it looks like an AT SD to turn that into a walker like I did the other one. Gotta get some legs. I like that. This, I didn't know what this was. Well, maybe y'all can tell me what this is. They go in there. I don't know. I've never seen these, but they're good little bit, little terrain bits that you can use to build stuff. So cool stuff in the box one, move on to the box two, much bigger box. Some of, some of y'all might cringe when I work on Star Wars toys and convert them to something else, cover them up, paint them, put, them, put, a, put a power tool to them or whatever. And, and there's a small part of me that, that, that may agree with you, but that is because they are from the original series. If they're from episode one, two, and three, I don't give a flying flip. And that's what these are. Look at that thing, jeez. Yeah, we know what that is. Oh, the wings pop out? Get out of here. Yep, very recognizable, obviously. Um, uh, the challenge is to make it unrecognizable. Uh, so, yep, these are episode one, two, and three parts. I bought fairly cheap, planning on using now. This is what I saw first. And these are these are reasonably this one's a canopy. I could turn that into something useful. Take the stickers off. And make that a small scale or large scale fighter. And I got two of those. Two of those. Not a fighter, but a large, say, cargo ship. To turn that and turn that whole thing into a bridge for 28 millimeter make carry you know, pilot and co-pilot just like a cargo section I don't reckon it, I mean I kind of recognize this but look at that what is that all about I don't know what that's all about but I have a feeling something's missing on this thing. Whatever this is. Another one. What the heck? Oh, I see. This goes on the side of it. Those are a bit big. Alright. Of course, that's very recognizable. Don't want to know what happened to the engines. But once again, I can do something with that. That's the big haul. Let's look at some of these. Oh. There we go, look at that. That's kind of cool. So this can be a number of things. I would turn it backwards. It's got some, it's got a can partial canopy there and it's got all this, this stuff. I just want to, uh, first thing you look for is how to take it apart. And there's some screws. Um, I want to take that hole and then turn it around and make it look that way. I may build a pilot and then paint it over. Put guns in there so they you know suddenly it reveals guns you have to cut into it more screws 
Yep, that can come apart. I can see that. This big old beast. I mean, what is that? Okay, well, that folds in. So there's some screws. We can take those out. Kind of button. Oh, there's the battery compartments. These flip out. No canopy. Does this have any kind of landing gear? No. Well, something's supposed to go there. Personally, I can make that into a large, look at it from a 20 millimeter scale. I'm gonna put some landing gear and make this a larger, you know, a, a larger vessel. It's not a fighter. So I'm look at that, missing its wings or whatever. Oh, look at that. That's neat. A roid fighter. So some kind of buttons. Oh, I just popped it up. Oh, look at that. Okay. Neat. Paint it up. What would I, I don't think I'd do anything with these. Maybe just the landing gear, but that would be a, that could be anything. Fun little toys to play with. I'm not entirely sure what the story is behind this one. How the heck, oh. Does this have screws? Or does something go on those? I don't know. Again, this would be something that goes along with this. Like if I want to do a starport, I'd make, I'd paint these up and place these down as large as they're missing. The canopy, of course, placed or made. There's some screws. We can take out some of the stuff. Just the, just the canopy would be the challenge there. I don't know what these are for. Personally, I would take those out. Getting the feeling there were supposed to be wings on this, maybe. So anyway, needs a little raw, a little wash. I'm not really sure what that is. But yeah, these first come off. I would, I would take this all apart, wash it, and again convert it to something larger. All right. So this one's begging me. Whoa. Take it apart. Take the legs off. This will be a larger ship. You can put. Oh, the chairs are kind of molded in there, so. We'll have to convert those to something else. But that front end looks very cool. Pop into here. All right. Yep. Uh, probably a cannon was supposed to be up there. Look at that. This bunch of widgets and gadgets. But that looks even to scale right there. Yeah, I'd have to convert this to some other kind of platform for, for the smaller minis. But I still see the mini standing in there like that. All I have to do is add a few 40k bits. Put a gun up here. I've got a, I think I've got a gun that I could fit up there. And the gun down here is a little droopy. It looks like fun to play with. We'll, we'll more than likely just leave like leave this as is. Paint it up a little bit. Oh, I mean, I'll add, a, I'll add a few things to it. But I don't remember seeing this on screen. I tried to forget episode one, two, and three. To be honest with you, I know I'm a Gen Xer. And the hater. These are the ones I was shooting for. I, I these are the ones that grabbed me. These two. I'm just feeling like if I paint these up, they won't be as re recognizable with some 40k bits and landing gear. These are supposed to be the land landing gear. Well, I'll, I'll put something on it and make these just like small scale freighters or something. I turn those into the bridge. The, the seats seats are not so predominant that they look like seats, so they can be converted into something else, like a second station. You know what? I got something. Let me just thought of something else with these guys. I used to be really into another miniature game called AT43, and every other pack they put together, they put these cargo containers in there. And I'm just wondering what they fit. Is there a way to fit these in here? They won't go that. See, and I'm missing a door on this one, but they won't go that way. They won't go this way. Can I? But we could. Oh, look at that. Now we have cargo. Boom. All I do is paint these up. A ton. I have not a ton of these, but I have about ten of them. I like that. That's cool. I like that idea. All right. So definitely something like that. This is just begging to be a piece of terrain. I'm not really sure what this is, and I'm sure people will tell me. Let's go in here. Oh, it didn't. And then it would pop out. Oh, that might be like, oh, it exploded. Oh, that could be a good mount. That could be a good weapons mount if I can get another one of those. I don't know. Well, let's see. And of course, the pod. Oh. oh. So, I don't know, I may restore this since I restore next wing and all that. Now this guy, we'll see. I don't know. I 
I said, I like the idea of a walker, but I've got to, I got to find some legs from those same robot series. I think I do have some. We'll see. All right, the final Star Wars box took forever to get here. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but everything seems to be taking forever. I don't fault the uh, seller or anything. I fault our system. So this is not as epic, obviously, as you can tell. It's not a big box. It's a little box. It's little extras that I plan to use for various terrains. I just saw some stuff in here that I liked. Some stuff I don't need. And I went ahead and bought it because it was cheap. And nicely packed. And there you go. All right. So like, for instance, this, these things are big miniatures. I don't even know where they came from. They look like they came from a game or maybe somebody 3D printed them. Or a chess set, maybe? I don't know. Looks like I've got a whole bunch of Darth Vader's. Got an Emperor, got a Princess, what's her face? My Stormtrooper. None of these I can use. Not directly, Mr. too deep, obvious. So I don't know, I'm, I guess I could turn some of those into a, a statue or something like that. That's one thing I like with that thing. That's very cool. Oh, yeah, here, oh, look. Old tower. That can be used. That's one of the things I spotted. We got some stand-up terrain. Obviously something was standing in there. That looks good. That's one another thing I spotted. A whole bunch of junk. That's good. Now I saw a bunch of these. These, these things with the Star Wars on them, you could use those as a lot of things. And like this texture and all that is great. And you can cover that up with something. And these are basically stands. Yeah, I'd paint that up. This, oh look, oh look, what is that? Oh, just teeter and totter. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought maybe that was a door. I could cut it and then it'll turn into a door. Oh yeah, you can cut it right across here. There's the hinges. Now I can cut it right across here and all of a sudden now we've got a door. As long as I get a straight line. And then another piece that maybe could be, cut that out, that could be a door, easily. Um, so I got a ton of these that I, I really don't care about, but I can use as long as I cover up that logo and paint over these names. Not entirely sure what that is. Missile launcher, little droid um, base. Here's another one, another piece of land terrain piece that I could use, and another one. Oh, that's cool. These three main things is what I saw and I, I, I could use and. I didn't know what this was, but now I like this a lot. That's a leg. That's a leg from maybe a droidica or something like that. But that can be used as anything in, in, a, in a craft. Same for that. That could be a canopy or something else. More things. Let's open up. Wow. Very cool. So a little extras. My, I think my favorite thing is this. Because now I have the other thing that, that we got. I don't know how much of this I can use. Find another piece to that. I could, I could just mount this up on here. I can't, so that looks dumb. I could just mount that on there. All right, cool. Anyway, so I got a lot of, a lot of stuff. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Uh, like and follow, um, as I will repurpose most of these for 28 millimeter, 25, 28 millimeter, or 35 millimeter RPG tabletop stuff. Until next time, and always remember, seek the wolf in thyself.